it to come. We got to talk about another damn bit that's coming up, man. Yep, October 26th, you know, UFC Fight Night 30. Fight Night 30. And uh, the big thing about this, we're only going to talk about two of the. There's, there's, it's like six people on the main card. We're only going to talk about two of the, two of the fights because those are the ones that are the, the, the first fight. I mean, well, the, we're going to talk real quick. I know we're only going to talk about the, the top two, but uh, you mm-hmm. guys need to see the Alessio, Alessio Sakara fight because he's a dynamic striker and he's going to probably cornhole his opponent. And then the other fight that I'm really goes interested in is mm-hmm. J- Jiminy Manawa, M A N U W A. Oh, this is Ryan Jimmo. Yeah. Yeah, that dude. Jimmy Manua. Jimmy Manua is fighting Ryan Jimmo. Yeah, someone's going to fucking sleep in that yeah. fight, dude. That, Th- that's that a good point. Those... going to end up with a knockout. Yeah, and Nor- and you know, we might see a good fight in Norman Park. It, you know, there's some actually decent fights on this card. Um, well, the, the Norman Park fight's going to be interesting because John Tuck is 7-0, and but he's uh-huh. got three submission wins and three knockout wins where the dude Norman Park has 12, tw- uh, has 12 wins by submission. So I'm assuming right. Tuck might stuff his takedowns and just knock him out. So my money was on Tuck in that fight. But let's let's get to the young assassin versus Mr. Pearson. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, Ross Pearson's going up against Melvin Gillard. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Ross Pearson. Um, he's one of my favorite fighters from across the pond. And, uh, and I, your uncle, your, well, actually probably one of your cousins, um, uh, is a huge fan of Melvin Gillard. <laughs> Why you showed him, man? I'm not joking. But, uh, I'm staying but, a fact. But, All you guys are related. I, I just, I just, you know, yeah, it's, a uh, Melvin Gillard is, and, and everybody will say this about it, Craig, he has so much potential, but, Throughout his career, I mean, as great of a fighter as he is, he just has such a problems with uh, submissions. Now, with that being said, Ross Pearson is the kind of guy that likes to mix it up and bang. And that, honestly, Plays could be a good Melvin matchup. For, it, it could. It could play into Melvin's strong suit, and that could get him in trouble. This is going to be a very interesting fight. Uh, you know, if there's anybody else going up against Pearson, I'd pick Pearson right off the bat. But I think this is very interesting. I think if Pearson's camp doesn't focus on him getting it to the ground, then he could get he could have his hands fucking full with Melvin Gillard because Melvin Gillard will fuck you up. If, He'll knock you out. If mm-hmm. Pearson can't get it to the ground, he's got to close the di- distance and get Melvin up against the cage. He really does. I mean, um, those, who those you going with? Two options. If he can't get Melvin down, he's got to get him up against the cage. Don't let does can't let Melvin use his reach and try to use short blows to finish it. Right. Who you going with? I. <sighs> I think Pearson's going to make a mistake, and I think he's going to try to keep this standing to prove a point, and I think Gillard's going to catch him. I I, th- I think that's going to happen, too. I, I don't think he's that good on the ground to put Melvin Gillard to sleep, and I think Melvin Gillard is so athletic that he could get Pearson in trouble. Now, I my, think only, he, my only issue is we just saw Roy Nelson complain about how bad his camp was and how it really can mm-hmm. screw with you. Melvin mm-hmm. Gillard has bounced around a lot because he's had legal issues and Greg Jackson wouldn't take him back, so I'm mm-hmm. not sure where his mind's going to be at when that cage door shuts, but hopefully it's in the right place. And I'm still going to go with Melvin, but uh, mm-hmm. he's he's not had a good go of it lately in the training realm. Right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Melvin. I mean, I, I just... I, I, yeah, I am. And, and I like Ross Pearson. I'd like to see Ross Pearson get the win because I think, you know, it's just... It's a stand-up guy, and he's a good fighter, and he's got a good... He's, he's doing everything in the right way, but he just... I think this is a bad matchup for him. 